This is why it's good to have you, Emily. Huh? Keep me on task. Keep yeah. me in check. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm here for. Teamwork. Motherfucker. Whoa. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. <laughs> Howdy y'all! What's up guys? It's Emily and Jacob and we're the Dosi Duo. Um, we are back here with Buddy and Rocco over yeah. there. We're just gonna do two back-to-back -back parts. So this is gonna be part two of the day for us in live time. Yeah. I think we're gonna go continue on with main story. Yeah, so what do you think about that? last time we um, frolicked in the in the boat with Chani. Fro yeah. Fro Floated. We floated and we fooked. We floated and fooked. <laughs> fooked. That's accurate. And then we did some side missions. We like got some old fury connections now. Mm -hmm. We kind of spent a lot of money helping this guy with rune crafting, which is nice, I guess. But now we're like not as rich as we were before. Um, well, we still have almost 35,000. Plus we have all those florins. I'm scared. Um, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> but yeah, let us know. If that was worth it or not. We're, we're going to, like, leave that alone for a bit. Let us know if we should spend that other 15,000 orins or whatever. Dollars make me holla. Dollars uh, make me holla. <laughs> All right. And, yeah, and then, but for now we're just going to continue on. We're probably going to do... We're going go, go to old, go to Old Geard and let him know that we gave his brother a good time. Mm -hmm. And then... Um, we're gonna do probably open sesame. Um, but yeah, let's do it. Let's hop into it. You know, honestly though, should I just buy all of the like ingredients? Not ingredients, but um, like the schematics in order to. Mm. Not yet. Well, just like to be able to craft runes because we're gonna need some of the runes for some of this crafting stuff. Later. All right, fine, fine. Oh, okay, so. Yeah, I'm gonna go check this out. I think this is the Von Everick estate. So I'm actually kind of curious um, what we'll find here. So let's just do that super quick and see if there's anything interesting. There should be a fast travel spot in this town, I believe. Oh yeah. Von Everick estate, okay. Oh. I feel like that's gonna have a meaning in the future, but I just don't get it right now. You don't? If you were to guess what it was, what it was about, what would you think? Eyes of Fire? Like, I don't know. I'm guessing something about Old Geard, but I don't. We're at the Von Everick like, mansion, so I would assume it's about him, right? But. Okay, so this is something too. I don't wanna go here if we're supposed to come here later, though. Am I jumping the gun? Can we see Vladimir again? Now I can loot all this stuff without Vladimir giving me shit. Give me a cat. Dude, I like to be able to see, okay? Jeez. Oh, whoa. 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 Yeah, we missed a lot, apparently. Okay. Oh! Nope, nope. That's not what I want. Dude, I think Yurden's actually paralyzing him. Yeah, it's actually doing something. Look at that. Uh, paralyzed. Huh. Yeah, look at it. Whoa, Yurden fucked him up. Interesting. Oh my god, I deserved it.
Whoa. Yeah, we missed a bunch. I'm glad we came back. Mm-hmm. Gold. <laughs> you love to sing that. Yeah, I do find a good spot. I mean, you're, uh, I'll let you know if you can't figure it out. Yeah. But that will be at the end. Oh, alright, I'll have to go around to that eventually. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, this is the crypt. I wonder if we can... Where's Vladimir's grave? Right there. This one? For sure. Can't bring him back from the dead again. I think we went that way already, and that's back. Alright, cool. Figured it was worth checking out. We got a lot of we actually got a lot of stuff though. Mm hmm I'd say it's worth it. Um fastest waypoint. It's so dark, like over here. I wonder if this symbolizes something. It's just overcast. No, it's just clear. And as soon as you leave the estate. Like, start riding a little bit more, or just walking a little bit. Look, see how it clears up? And it gets, like, the saturation goes up? Yeah, that's true. Dude, I think it's something to do with the estate. I didn't know that before. Whoa, that is crazy. Yeah, it's cloudy that direction, too. And then you get right to here. Just keep running a little bit further. And then it starts to, the saturation goes down. That is weird. Oh my god. Good catch by you. Maybe they'll allude to it. I mean, I know a little bit what's going on. But. Oh, so you're cheating. No. You're cheating. Well, no, I, I never noticed that before, but. I, like, I don't know the direct link. Um, let's read Vladimir's letter. Oh, good call. Before we give it to him. Damn. Hmm? This is a. Uh... This is a warning right here. Ultimatum. If you read it. Basically just says like, hey Olgird, you're a noble, but and like who you associate with it's not my concern. But if your people keep disrespecting my land and my laws, like, I'm gonna tie you to a horse and drag you along like a rocky ravine. <laughs> wow. Damn, fighting words. Where should I be looking for it? I don't know. This side? I thought it'd be quest items. No Alright, Olgir, what's up? What are they doing? Play. Overgrown wains, you see. Have you any children, Geralt? None. Oh, yes. Forgot witches are sterile. Well, don't just stare at me. Tell me what brings you. Oh, let's play some Gwent. Oh my god, Jacob. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. And chosen some interesting specimens. Interested? How so? Common carouses of roughnecks. Every last one. Where'd you dig them up? Some have been with me ages. Others are gathered on the road. And a few fell with themselves. They're company for drink and sport, at least. And ever since I began travelling with them, my old enemies have sat quiet as molds. First time I've seen a saber like that. What's its origin? A fear. It was a gift. Any soft-armed craven can hang a blade from his belt. Brant's about feigning danger. But my saber's a promise. If I reach for it, heads will roll. The mere sight of it quells the urge to do. In shavers eager to face Olgier von Henry, the infamous outlaw. My medallion seems to think it's magic. <laughs> It thinks, eh? And I think you've never seen a better weapon. 
keep wondering how you turned the Ophiri into a beast. The more I think about it, I'm sure it was no run-of-the-mill curse. This professional curiosity, or nosiness, is common as the clown. Desire to improve. Information could prove useful down the line. In the future, you wonder the delusion you'll complete your tasks. Live happily ever after. Remains to be seen. So for now, admit it. A mage helped you, right? I'll give you a hint. You're not the only one to fulfill wishes around here. Your dim transformed the Ophiri? It was your wish? Nay. It was my doing alone. But you're right. It was no ordinary curse. Though I'll say no more. A curse I uttered in a moment of rage. With no thought to it actually taking hold. Tell me, how'd you meet the Ophiri you turned into a beast? Aren't you a nosy one? What's it matter? You like to talk about yourself. That I cannot deny. <laughs> Ophiri was a dolphin on a voyage through lands unknown to learn of their cultures and customs. He fell for a lass. As it happened, this woman was already important to me. But at the time, I was now compared to a normal, a foreign man. So her parents promised her hand to the Ophiri. No, she loved me. If you'd only seen his feeble attempts at charm. When she asked why he travelled disguised as a common merchant, he said he was like the frog from the fairy tale. One kiss from her, and he turned into a prince. Wanted to be a frog. Became a frog. <laughs> Alright. Real quick. Oh, come on. Real quick. No, you can play him any time. Really? Yeah. It's not the last time you talked to him, trust me. Fine. Vladimir sends his love. You spoke to the scent. Impossible. Did more than that. Fulfilled your wish. And talked to him extensively. Curious what he had to say. That's a yes. Fulfilled your wish. Your dead brother had himself one more day like those of old. Very easy to say. But have you got any proof? I do. Vladimir's hand is unmistakable. You've done well, Witcher. Is that all? Or have you something else? Gonna work on getting you Bersodi's house next. Best of luck. Enjoy. I don't know what it said! I know. It was private. I don't think we we're allowed to, to see it. Okay, I'm gonna play it back quick. Oh, Jacob. Real quick. Real quick. I'll, I'll beat him. Need to chat. He'll probably beat me. But... All ears, which... hmm. It just takes me a long time to. Afraid to lose? No problem. Believe that's the worst find I've ever heard. Play out your cards. Real quick, real quick. Oh, you have gone through now. Uh huh, and I got two of them. Look at them, though. It's kind of scary. Oh, a cow! What's the. What's the cow do? Oh, I'm down. Let's add that. Ooh! <laughs> the quote. Mm. <laughs> oh. Mm. Okay, now I can get rid of some of our crappy cards. So this guy... This guy should go. And... Why do you keep that other five? Him? Yeah. I'll take him out too. And then... If I can... It's like Sheila did dance feels my other pretty bad card. Monsters. We'll see how his deck is. I feel like I'm going to get destroyed. Yeah. Oh, I should have... Uh, I should have only kept one of these because it would have automatically summoned the other one too. Really? Yeah. Okay, I didn't know that. I didn't know that's how it worked, but that is the way to do it. Okay. 
Okay, I need to uh, definitely concede this round. from my discard pile, I wonder. Try it. Oh. Try uh, it. Discard pile. I mean, might as well, right? Just for science. See. Yeah. Nah. Nope. That was a mistake, I guess. Um, shit. Um. Let's just do the command horn and then pass. I could use the command horn, but I, I, I also could use these two next round, and then Command Horn it. I'm just gonna do that. So what are you gonna do now? I'll just do this. I know it's kinda stupid, but... Well, it's not stupid, but... Well, I mean, you're gonna lose that card. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna play this card, and then I'll recover it later. Yeah. Close combat cards, and I'll have to destroy them. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta just recover. I gotta recover the golden dragon, kill all three of those. get from him. I should get a card. <laughs> Not much I detest more than losing. Well, my congratulations. This card's yours. Thanks. Which one? <laughs> He's pissed. Toad. Toad. We got Toad. <laughs> nice. So long. Is it open sesame time? Yeah, let's start it. <laughs> it's like, why are you... It's 70... What? It's like 82 steps away. Oh, shit. Oh my god, it is. I assumed it wasn't. I didn't even look at that. Well, that's convenient. Damn. What are you doing? This is why it's good to hide here, Emily. Huh? Keep me on task. Keep yeah. me in check. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm here for. Teamwork. Motherfucker. Whoa. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. <laughs> this the Brasodi Brothers auction house? Seems it. Private Kleiner. You're on duty. Need I remind you? Fraternizing with civilians is not allowed. Purpose of your visit? Just curious. Redanian army regulars, right? Lance Corporal Vaclav reporting. And this bloke's my subordinate, Private Klein. Careful you don't piss yourself out of excitement. You say something, soldier. Not a thing. Shouldn't you be somewhere? There's a war on, you know. We was transferred here. All official. Written order 76 CWX. Mission, guard the auction house. Priority, high top, in fact. Well, Sodi fella knows his way about the court. Helps the high rankings sell their war booty. <laughs> Gets protection in return. Private Kleiner, that confidential military information. That's like a real thing that, that used to happen in wars a lot. It's like the high ranking military people, like with like plunder shit, like take it back home with them and like sell it. Mm -hmm. So they profit off of the wars. I think it happened a lot in the Revolutionary War, actually. Like the British officers. 
Any of the owners home? Meaning the one and sole owner, the esteemed host Besodi? Aye, he is. Need to talk to him. Order 76 CWX is clear. Auctions only open to folk with invitations. Writ out in their names, plain and simple. Should I threaten them or should I just work with them? They're doing their jobs. I'll work with them. Gonna let that hold you back? Come on. The afraid you're out of luck. Order 76 CWX also held that Lance Corporal Vatslav stick a broomstick up his ass. Kleiner, need I remind you of the penalty for insulting a superior. Who have we here? Geralt, the Witcher of oh, Rivia. this guy. Baldi, the banker from... Actually, where are you from? Matters little, mate. Gold knows no boundaries. I gotta exchange some florins with What's him. What's all the mm -hmm. bash, Corporal Vatslav? Are you squabbling with my pal Geralt? Master Vivaldi, sir, your esteemed associate, he weren't invited to the auction, and I've... But I plow and have been, and he's coming with me. In you go, Geralt. <laughs> Pace that, friends. But yep. My orders. Fuck your orders. Need I take this up with the sergeant? Ha! I thought not. No. Stand to attention. And shut your gig in. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dwarves, dude. Oh, that dude. Will be Powerful dwarves. Back in the barracks. Sort it. Now, Mart. Round you go. One, two, one, two. The funny dynamic. Hi. <laughs> right. Sleeping time. boy. Yeah. Appreciate the help. Just note, always had a mind to see into old pals and clients. Business with you is a pure pleasure, Vimmy. The dear departed wifey claimed the same. <laughs> Folk are assembling. Auction's about to start. Time we went upstairs. What did folk come to bid on? Any idea? All kinds of valuables. Rare weaponry, exotica. But I've got my eye on a selection of canvases by the master portraitist of the Maribor School. Van der Neu. Long indeed. Well, well. Never knew you to be a connoisseur. Of course I'm not. It's all muck and rubbish to me. Point of fact, I'll just wrap them in paper and lock them in the vault. Why in the world do... What do you mean, why, Geralt? I've got That's to diversify my investments. <laughs> Smart boy. Find the diversification, bruh. <laughs> Could have sworn was... or Sodi's auction house was in the <laughs> There was, but they moved it. You see, Radovid often horsed a preferential tax rate. Zero percent. Huh. Pretty much unbeatable. Aye. And I've never seen a purer example of the benevolent state. Actually, I'm really just here to talk to Horst Borsodi. Oh, might be more of a problem than you'd expect. Because? An awful hermit, that one. Not a wee bit like his da, my little keep his soul. But Horst would like to show his heed during the auction. I'll introduce you to him. Be mighty indebted to you. Think nothing of it. Only have a collect on loans and promissory notes. <laughs> All right, up we go. Come on, Rocco. Rocco. <laughs> he keeps running in circles. He doesn't know what he wants. We never know. Geralt, you thought of buying real estate. Could get to attractive terms on a mortgage. No such thing as attractive loan terms, Vimmy. What about in Kaviri marks? Come on. You know damn well that makes no sense. Why is this reflecting our real life so hard? <laughs> yeah. Student loans. Student loans. Hmm. Auction won't start for a time yet, it seems. Vimmy, this House. is a banquet. Aye? And? I detest banquets. Vacuous conversation, food portions fit for a mouse, drinks that taste like piss. Ah, it won't all be bad. Let me introduce you to some of my most interesting associates. Old hand there is Countess Mignol. Wager you'll have plenty to blather about with her. <laughs> Prick in the corner's Helbert. New coin, that one. 
Came in to write fortune playing quaint. Ah, oh. there's Yaramir, art dealer. A purer snob I've never known. But he knows paintings like no other. So, ready to chat someone up? It's not fitting for us to stand here like knobs. <sighs> Oh, let's meet the friends. You can talk to you first. I'll just talk to this this boy, Yaramir. Oh, okay. I guess I'm looking at a painting. Yaramir, might we trouble you we spare? Mm -hmm. Greetings, Vivaldi. Who's this? Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. I thought you might have a blather with us. I put the paintings on the block today. Ah, sniffing for a quick turnaround as usual, are we? Hot calling the kettle black, I'd say. Do a lively trade in canvases yourself, my friend. True. Yet first they delight my eyes, whereas you treat them as mere promissory notes. The only arts that interest you are those culinary. Oh, damn. What about Shots you, fired. Yeah. Do you know anything about painting? No, I bet he says. I bet. This might be hard to believe, given my crude-looking mug. But yeah, I know a thing or two. Truly, Geralt's an old boy. We ought to see what. Do you know our friend Vivaldi is in possession of five canvases by Van der Nobe? Yet he cannot distinguish them from landscapes at five crowns apiece. I shan't pretend it's otherwise. Yet for you, my dear connoisseur Witcher, that should present not the slightest problem. So do tell which of these is the handiwork of Edward van der Nobe, the master of oh, the Oh, a challenge. Can I not look around? Uh, okay, well, he said landscape. Right. So, probably view of Novigrad. Could be yeah the view of Novigrad or in the, or the battle scene. No, what's the pastoral? What's that? It's the one on the left, I think, the one that he's looking at. I'm assuming it's not that. I'm gonna click this one first. See what happens. Okay. The panorama of Novigrad, I'd say. Nope. There's not a bumpkin who does not know Van der Nob never ventured outside Maribor. <laughs> Adieu. What a jackass. Yeah, fuck him. <laughs> Typical Aristocunt. <I've> Aristocunt. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> Which one was it supposed to be? I think it was the, um, that's the battle scene, I'm pretty sure it was the fat one. The pastoral thing? Probably. Ah. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Let's go talk to this person. I beg your pardon, but, well, have we met? Greetings to the Honorable Countess. Madam, allow me to introduce my dear friend, Geralt of Rivia. Witcher of the School of the Wolf. Forgive me, but have we had the pleasure? No, but your guild is unmistakable. Your medallion. Take note, Geralt. Countess Mignol is an eminent collector of Vitaminaica. Vitamin. What now? All manner of objects related to the witcherly profession. Swords, gear, medallions. Oh. Mind if I ask how the Countess became interested in us humble monster slayers? I've some pleasant associations. Dating from my oh-so-distant youth. Oh, let me guess. Her and Vesemir? That's very kind, Master Vivol. But apart from my bed in the night, I also own a number of mirrors. Your most prized piece, what would it be? An armor element, an antique school of the wolf. 
from 1234. Classic. Is it up for sale? I fear not. It's a memento. One of great sentimental value. But perhaps the Countess has got other Witcher curios she's willing to part with. Or acquire. Uh, perhaps she could trade. I'd charge 5%. A modest uh, transaction fee. Bro! I mean, I mean you've never seen anyone so good at laying their mitts on coin that clinked within earshot. But what the hell? See if we can't make a deal. <laughs> Sorry about the barking, guys. Yeah. Rocco got excited. Oh, okay, so she has like. Oh, Viper. Viper. Interesting. Armor. It's that expensive. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, why not? What? What? Why? Why? Why, why not? What? Fuck it. We're not gonna. Probably not gonna make it. Probably, but maybe. It's fine. Oh, I'm just gonna damaging. sell some shit back to her. We're loaded. I ain't. I ain't worried. You're so annoying. <laughs> I ain't worried. Mm. Mm. She doesn't want to buy our torches. Sad. Does the Countess have her eye on anything in particular today? No, but Horse Borsodi insisted he would put up something that would be of interest. Did he happen to say what it was? No. Oh, you know what he's like. A walking enigma. On another topic. Master Geralt, I was wondering if you'd be willing to help a lady in need. Depends on the nature of the need. Oh, it's quite the trifle. I stepped out onto the balcony a moment ago. I dropped an earring while there. I couldn't find it. It must have fallen through the floorboards. Perhaps you, with your cat eyes. Not a problem. I'll go right away. I shall be <clears throat> much obliged. His See you in a minute, so bad. Then. So, do, do you think she... Do you think I was right? Do you think she's like... Go she's look a history? for the earring. What? Oh, Just is that... look for the earring. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm jumping the gun. Mm, some spilled wine. Nothing else. Mm. There's no earring out here, is there? She just wanted to talk to you alone? None. Maybe the Countess would care to explain what this is about, all jokes aside. Forgive me. I... God, this is so embarrassing. Do... Do you know Vesemir? I was right. He was a tin shorter than you, wore a mustache. Do I know him? Man taught me everything I know. What? How is he? If you don't mind oh, my no, asking. No. Don't mind at all. But before I answer, I also wouldn't mind knowing how you knew each other. Oh, I've told no one. Not ever. But I suppose I owe you an explanation. It was the winter of 1234. A beast prowled the streets of Oxenford. A fledder, I believe. A contract was issued, a notice posted, and a witcher appeared. Vesemir, of the School of the Wolf. He came through our estate, tracking the beast. Our eyes met. Something sparked. I wrote him a message, asked my governess to deliver it. He visited, under the cover of night, night after night. On one such occasion, my father heard something. Vesemir had to flee. So quickly, he left behind his gambeson. Ah, the first piece. The start of your collection. Yes, but also the end of our love. Father had an arrest warrant issued then quickly married me off. I was fortunate. My husband died young, leaving me a sizable fortune. And thus, I have lived on memories. Whoa. Vesmer was a dog. Mm -hmm. Vesmer was basically like Geralt back in the day. Mm -hmm. You think Vesmer went from town to town just hooking up with damsels in distress? No, just this one. Just this one? Just this one. Aww. Oh, this is gonna be sad, though. <sighs> Afraid I have bad news. Oh.
Please tell me. Did he at least die like a witcher? Did he ever? No. He died like a hero. There is that. I thank you for tolerating a decrepit madwoman so elegantly. Please don't say that. I am old and I am wealthy. I may say what I please. And now, be so kind and leave me to my thoughts. Huh. It's like an entirely different conversation if you do this mission before the Battle of... Can you? Mm -hmm. You can start this any time. I guess that's true. Oh my god. Hellbent! It's been years. Allow me to introduce you, sir. Geralt of Rivia. Enchanted. Pleasure's all mine. How's it? Got your eye on any Dude, I don't want to like that for Geralt. What do you think? Really. I buy what strikes hmm? me fancy. What if Geralt was running out like that? right sumptuous for me walls just now. Nilfgaard. I get it right. Excuse me? Your Gwent deck. It's Nilfgaard, isn't it? Come on, admit it. For the Northern Realms, actually. Not a bad deck, Nilfgaard. But I'll take the Northern Realms over it any day. Ah, understood. A patriot. You ought to know, Helmet. Geralt here is a positively superb player. Superb. Hmm. We got a minute for the auction start. Oh, so, fuck shit. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. There is going to be a lot of glint in this playthrough. <laughs> Suppose it's not whether you win or lose. Sure, I'm game. Brilliant. I'll lay my cards out. Nah, I'm sure this guy's going to destroy me, isn't Geralt, he? Maybe you have a wee word. Oh, okay. oh, so you like a ringer? Oh no. Well, mate, since I brought you together, I do believe I'm owed a <laughs> of your winnings. If there are Bro! Ten percent. I find this for your souls again. Pretty clear now why you wanted us to meet. One cardinal bit I've learned in my <laughs> coin that a stink. So, what'll it be? <laughs> Fuck it, he helped us get in, I don't care. <laughs> well, you did help with the guards at the door. All right, 10% of any winnings is yours. Any chance for a 15? Don't push it. Bro, me. come on. Don't push it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, game Cheeky on. Cheeky bastard. All right, I'm gonna take the time to go beep beep, beep beep, beep right. beep. You guys are with me now. Let's see how we do. <laughs> Ooh, this is good. I should win. Unless this guy's an absolute <sighs> scoundrel. So he's doing Nilfgaard. Move your leg. Oh. There's my button here. Dang. Oh, so he's playing with Nilfgaard. Okay, okay. Yeah, he is. Is he a tooth boy? Is he what? Is he tooth? He's got some good cards so far. Ah, oh, damn! I didn't need two of the same card. Play this. Let's see what. Let's see what's gonna happen here. Could dummy that and pick it up. Oh, um, the spy card. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if it's early to do that. Like maybe I'm gonna want the points to go for the win this round. But yeah, it's good. It's good. Just go crazy. Strategic. Mm-hmm. Strategery. Strategery. <laughs> and he'll just waste cards. Yeah. I really just. See, a lot I know of time. about that. You do. I never said you didn't. 
I would, I would say I'm probably better than you at Gwent, just because I've been playing it. You would hope, you would think, right? Not that I'm like some incredible player. <laughs> Now I'm thinking of freezing the close combat guards. Yeah, why not? Okay, fair enough. Get that card back. Right. Oh. Okay, I'll play a hero and then call uh, and win. Yeah. Be up to four cards. Okay, let me just double check. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Someone was saying after like the Novigrad tournament, they like basically never lost. Yeah. So it sounds like you don't face too many crazy players. Other than like maybe in the Blood and Wine or Blood of Wine yeah, we'll DLC. Be. Blood and Wine. Blood and Wine, yeah. Real quick, what's in here? Golden Dragon. So I'll wait to recover that at some point. you can play like a, a monster type card with uh, the Northern Realms deck. For now, and then I'll recover the Golden Dragon later if I want to. Also, mm -hmm. Contra Dim. I feel like this is a spoiler, this thing. Is it not? Oh. Let me just do this. Kind of a crap card, anyway. should lift it and then scorch. Why? Because it'll kill that card's worth ten. Mm. Mm. I still don't have to, but might as well. I was gonna get the golden dragon. I didn't get a pick. Yeah, that was weird. I guess they're like, dude, you want to just stop. Like, stop being. I mean, place all your cards down anyway. Yeah. Ooh, we got Gantra, another one. Must have mm -hmm. something. 
hexed me or whatnot. Oh, I'd be careful with the garb, Hilbert. Before Geralt takes a mind to demanding satisfaction. <laughs> you give it to him, you damn midget. You bearded pinch fist. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh Interest will be a right bit higher when that bugger next comes round asking for a loan. <laughs> this guy's a fucking mogul. <laughs> Honorable gentlemen. The auction will begin shortly. Take your places, please. Ah, at long last. Come with me to the fort. I won't see much elseways. Alright, fall on you, dude. Oh. oh Alright, that works too. Pay attention. No, I should have reply this message real quick. Give me a message. Pay attention. Forgot to ask you, how's this auction going to work? They'll bring out three lots to start with. Once they've sold, or not, they'll be an intermission. Horse Basodi will probably appear then. That's when I'll introduce you. Counting on it. In the meantime, have you got a budget? You prepared to beg? You don't want to take out, take money from this guy at a crazy high interest rate. Of course I will. Went to the trouble to sneak me in here. I'd be an ass not to take a stab. Ah, knew the bug would get you. Esteemed ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I hereby open the auction. Ladies and gentlemen, lot number one is a brass figurine from the collection of the infamous Count Romilly. Rumor has it the figure harbors a treasure inside. A rumor one may prove or disprove solely by destroying the beautiful bauble itself. Starting price, quite the bargain at 50 crowns. Any advance? With Master Hilbert at 100. To Countess Mignol, now at 150. Do I hear 200? Might I have an advance? <laughs> the white-haired gentleman enters a bid of 200. Do we have 200? <laughs> 200 once, twice, thrice. Splendid Countess Mignol bids 250. Do I hear 300? Shit. Fuck it. Why do you keep looking oh, at me? My, this is lively. I've 300 going once, <laughs> going twice. Do we have 350? 300 thrice and sold to the white haired fellow. <laughs> lot number one, the mysterious brass figurine. Proceeding now to lot number two. A canvas by the young Novigrad artist Van Roo. Starry <laughs> night over the Pontar. Charming piece. <laughs> Charming <laughs> at 20 crowns. Ladies and gentlemen, 20 crowns, it's practically naught. Yes, Why? the gentleman with the cat eyes. Why Let's not? Start. Do I hear 30? 20 going once, going twice, going thrice. Sold! Van We're just going to get everything. Starry night yeah. over the Pontar, to the gentleman with the cat eyes. <laughs> this guy's like, what the fuck? <laughs> what have I done? Lock Can number three, ladies and gentlemen. A oh my god. A more. Scarce as hen's teeth. Spectacle. A lot of people have give these gold, and then just wear them around in their playthrough. Polished by the tiny Let's do it. Hands of the gnome masters. What's the property of the famed hired assassin known as the Professor? Oh! Starting price of 200 crowns. Anyone tempted? Gwent Maestro Hilbert offers an advance of 50. Do I have three? My, haven't we livened up? 300 from Yaramir Ivanovich Zaitsev. Going once, twice. Dude, yeah. You Incredible. killed the professor. With the white-haired gentleman now, good folk, at 350 crowns. A generous offer indeed. Any advance? Huh? When was that? 350 um, going once. First game. Going um. twice. Sold. Invaluable spectacles to the white-haired gentleman. Exceedingly glad they'll be useful. May they serve you well, sir. Oh, the excitement. Damn. With the three We're going crazy. Offers, we'll go to an intermission. Amenities abound. Please partake. We'll resume shortly. I'm just gonna be like, what the fuck, Gerald? <laughs> Ooh, what's that? Mm. Some sausages? Mm. Some fish? Mm. Oh, Gerald, look! Horst Masudi! Come on, before some other cocksuckers steal him. Just, well, don't expect a warm welcome. <laughs> We're making him all sorts of money, he should like us. 
Greetings, Horst. Allow me to introduce a dear friend and associate, Geralt of Rivia, who... Comes uninvited. Yeah. But you've gained by my presence. Dropped a hefty pile of crowns here. I'm not like Vivaldi. Profit alone only goes so far for me. I seek more. The auction house is primarily a meeting place for the local elite. I needn't tell you. An itinerant mutant doesn't quite fit in. Wow. <laughs> Got the distinct impression the two of you started off on the wrong foot. Perhaps we should raise a toast to... What's one like you want from one like me? Just be a dick. You won't, you won't run anything. The Borsodi's auction house. I'm assuming the name's no coincidence. Got a relative I could talk to? Someone... How do I say this? A smidgen less irritating? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, name's a historical legacy, Geralt. Auction House was founded by two brothers, Horst's father and an uncle. In this generation... I, and only I, am it. So get to the point, now. <laughs> to this dog. So funny. <laughs> Can't hear a damn Let's thing. Let's with the niceties. Nice so barks anyway. house. Gotta lay my hands on it, whatever it... What? Where did you learn of it? Gentlemen, no reason to lose our composure. Raise our voices. I ask you, where did you learn of it? Whoa, come on now. Where? I like this guy, I'm not gonna tell him. Doesn't matter. Willing to tell me what it is or not. Guards, escort the Witcher out. And he's not to enter, not alone, not hand in hand with Hierarch Hemelfart. Honestly, he asked a question. It was a simple inquiry. One more word, and I shall move my accounts to the competition. Sorry, mate, but... No reason to trouble the guards, Horst. I'll go willingly. I don't recall giving you a choice in the matter. Kick his swiving mutated ass out. Oh. It's gonna be like that, huh? Yeah, what a fucking bitch. I wonder what the other option would have done. I'm sure something similar. I think you could kick that either way. Yeah. Aw, oh, threw it on the, the ground, too. Monster. Law says we're to return them. Law That's don't right. say when, though. So we'll do it, I. Just oh, hell to yeah. the singing shite out of the honorable gentleman. I love it. Mm -hmm. Trying to place for the elite, truly. Come on, lads. Let's loosen our muscles a bit. Gotta eat your food. I don't think I can, dude. You can't? No. No. Bugger's going down! Oh, I thought I countered. Damn it. I can't counter when they're both punching at the same time, damn. Can you just, can you get out of this little yeah. tight corner? I'm trying, dude. Vigidia! Like, can you run out more into the open? No. Damn it, dude. Are you sure you can't? Bro, where the fuck am I gonna go? No. That way. No, I'm stuck. Oh, I cannot. Okay. No. That's never been the case for any, any mission like this. Oh, can't just bring the fucking anywhere you want. You can usually run. Not I that guess far. it's not with Dude, let me fucking move! Oh my god! And then I can't counter it. It's like not letting me half the time. Oh come on! I just wanted to be one.
camera doesn't automatically change, which is fine, but just difficult. Nice. Time to end this. Okay. Then you can lock on him. Oh, spinning back. Ooh, two of them. Oh. There Let's we go. go. Damn. That was, was kind of Yeah. Law says if you see someone hurt, you should summon a medic. Law doesn't say how fast, though. So you can <laughs> sit tight a while. <laughs> Little bitches. That's great. Seems true what they say. Sword or no sword, a witcher brings gold. Not in the mood for your peasant wisdom. Who the hell are you? If all goes well, dare say I'm your partner. Don't need any partners. Oh, I don't know about that. No chance you'll lay your hands on Max Borsodi's house alone. I was looking for the house. I was at the auction. Disguised, of course. That argument on the topic was hard to miss. Get to the point, if you can. To get this house, you need to get into the vault. And there's no way Horst will let you in there out of the kindness of his heart. A heist. Don't like that idea one bit. Got any others? Find the herbalist lives near Oxenfurt. Ask for some yarrow extract. He'll know why you've come. If this is a trap of some sort. Be seeing you. I hope. Hmm. This guy's seen seen the whole interaction just take place. All right, guys. We're gonna stop it there. Hope you enjoyed. We got a good amount of Gwen in there. Yeah, What'd you think about him? But yeah, as always, if you guys enjoyed, please drop a like, uh, comment if you have anything to add. If you enjoyed that um, exchange about Vesemir, I thought that was a cool little tip that they know. threw in. Yeah. Um, and yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, we definitely appreciate it. But for mm -hmm. now, we're going to call it. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, see you on future parts. Bye, guys. Bye.